Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So before I get started, I want to say it feels so good to be back in front of the camera. I took a few weeks off. Life was lifing. I want to thank everybody for checking on me. Alali, listen, if anybody dares to say that this fragrance community is not a true community, tell them, lie them, I tell. Lies, pure lies. People were checking on me, making sure I was okay. Listen, thank you so much. Anywho, today we are going to be doing the tag video, Confessions of a Perfume Collector. So this tag was started by Carmen Centrix, and of course I will like link her channel below. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you decided to come back, big up your whole self. Big up your whole entire self. Truly, 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 truly appreciate your continued support of my channel. Now is the time, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Okay y'all, let's get started. Okay, so like I said in the opening, this is a tag video started by Carmen Centrix. I will link her channel below. She's funny. I enjoy watching her. And um, although I wasn't personally tagged, you know, you watch videos and, you know, you in the community, like, a lot of people say, hey, if you want to do the tag, do it. So here I am doing the tag. So the first question is, what is the cheapest fragrance in your collection? So my cheapest fragrance is this one right here. And this is Choco Musk by who who does this is this al rehab anywho y'all know about choco Musk. <laughs> this is like under ten dollars got it on amazon it's like vanilla chocolate like inexpensive <laughs> cheapest in my collection for sure um does it last nah probably gives me about three hours on the skin but it's pretty very gourmand if you're into that so yep the cheapest fragrance in my collection is this one right here and this is choco musk under 10 us dollars and i got this on amazon okay so the next question of course is the follow-up question what is the most expensive fragrance in your collection um, yeah, so the most expensive fragrance in my collection is this one right here from Roja Parfums, and this is Amber Aoud. Now, I did get this full price, and the retail price of this fragrance is $765, yeah. So, um, yeah, is it worth it? I mean... <laughs> Again, that's subjective, but this is like a warm, spicy, very sexy fragrance. You pull this out when you <laughs> when you want to command the room. There's saffron, there's oud, there's just you smell like royalty <laughs> and you should with the price. But they do have this fragrance on discount sites. Um obviously, I figured that out after I purchased the fragrance full price at Neiman Marcus, but yes, this is the most expensive fragrance in my collection currently. Okay, so the next question, how many full-size bottles do you currently have in your collection? Well, um, I did do a recount because I've been decluttering and adding and, you know, playing around. So I'm teeter-tottering around 368. Yeah, so more than the days of the year, even on a leap year. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous, I know. But, you know, everybody has a hobby. Mine is not illegal, so... Um... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's the answer to that question. I'm not going to repeat the number either. If you heard it the first time, you heard it. Those are the numbers. That's how many 
full size bottles I do have in my collection. So the next question is, have you ever received a weird comment when wearing a fragrance? <laughs> of course I have. And this was years ago and the fragrance I was wearing and I was out with a group um, and I think it was like a work conference and we had like a dinner, I don't know, maybe it was a bad choice of fragrance, but I was wearing Scandal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And somebody came in the area we, where we were and they said, oh, somebody smells like honey, grass, and bad decisions. <laughs> I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> I did not say it was me. But that was a super weird comment to me. Um, I don't think I've really looked at this fragrance the same. I haven't decluttered it because I still like it, but I don't wear it as much because I don't know. I don't know what that person was picking up, but whatever it was, <laughs> I don't think the comment was like what I was hoping for when I wore the fragrance. Who knows? But yeah, honey, grass, and bad decisions. Scandal from Jean-Paul Gaultier, go figure. So the next question is, um, do you wear perfume for a special cuddling time? If you know what I mean, um, for, you know, Netflix and chill. Well, the answer to this is I wear fragrance all the time. Like I get out of the shower, I wear fragrance. I'm going to work, I'm going to bed, I'm wearing fragrance. And I typically don't like, um, you know, plan my cuddle time. I don't say, well, yep, tonight's the night like Betty White, you know. <laughs> I don't. So I would say yes. And then um, the fragrances that I do wear to bed, I typically pick a fragrance that I know that my guy enjoys. Um, he has some ones that he loves on me at bedtime, like um, Fleur de Peony from Aaron, um, Yum Pistachio from Kayali. So yeah, <laughs> but I don't like, you know, typically plan it out like that, you know, but I'm always wearing fragrance. So I say the answer to that question is yes. Okay, so this one is a loaded question. How many sprays do you spray? Listen, I am a self, um, what is the word? Self-confessed over-sprayer. I over-spray my fragrance. So I say on average, maybe, and of course, depending on the fragrance, depending on the occasion. I am not going to douse myself in um, anything super strong if I know I'm going to be at work seeing patients or, you know, I'm not going to just put two sprays of gypsy water and keep it moving. Not, not even on a regular day. So typically I spray, I want to say, gosh, y'all, about 10 to 15 sprays on average, literally. Sometimes more, it depends. Because I spray my skin, then I spray my clothes. And you know, I, I, I want to be smelled. Is that so wrong? So yeah, I'm an oversprayer. But depending on the fragrance, there's some... I do go in lightly. Um, <laughs> Oud Bouquet. I dare not overspray that fragrance because yes, I will choke myself out. Tobacco Honey. I dare not overspray that one either. So, you know, you got to know your audience, right? So yeah, I do spray a lot, but it depends on the fragrance and where I'm going. Next question, where do you spray your fragrance? Listen, I just said I spray everywhere. Um, if I'm wearing a fragrance oil, I might put this fragrance oil in the pulse points first before I spray myself down. But um, I typically spray everywhere, every single place in the world. You could name. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm an equal opportunity sprayer. So unless, you know, there are times I don't spray fragrance on my skin because there might be times sometimes my skin, maybe because of my overspraying, kind of gets a little sensitive. So if I see or I feel any sensitivity, I might skip the whole 
skin spraying and just use my you know body butter or whatever and just spray my clothes so yeah hopefully that answers that question next question do you buy backups absolutely I have a video where I was talking about my backups I do buy backups of fragrances that I absolutely enjoy um, I haven't bought any backups lately um, but I do plan on buying a backup of Ambrosia Imperial because <laughs> the girl is looking a little low. Uh, that's for sure. But yeah, I do have backup fragrances and I have a whole video, which I'm going to link below of all the fragrances that I currently have backups of. Yes. Back up, back up. Here we go. <laughs> Next question. Do you show your friends, family, your collection? Um, yeah. I do like a lot of people know my friends and my family people that are close to me they know that I do have a fragrance collection I do have a fragrance obsession and when they come over yes they usually want to come they usually want to come walk around in the little glam room and smell fragrances and just you know take it all in and I'm always happy to yeah I'm not like gonna say as soon as you come over hey hey come see my collection no but if they nine times out of ten if they're coming to my house they know that I have a collection and yes they want to see it so I do show them. Next question. Does your partner know how much you spend on fragrances? Yes, he does. He knows exactly how much I spend on fragrances. He knows when I'm on a no buy. He knows when I'm like, dang, I want that fragrance, but now is not the right time. Yes, he absolutely knows how much I spend on fragrances. Um, in the past, I probably <laughs> would have said no, but um, now... It's all out there, how much fragrances cost and how much is spent on fragrances. So the next question is, do you plan on collecting more fragrances? I would say yes. And the reason why I say yes, because I really enjoy fragrances. I enjoy talking about fragrances. I could spend all day just going to the mall or going to a boutique just to smell fragrances. It's something that I enjoy. It's an actual hobby. It's something that brings me joy. So if I continue to have this channel, which I plan on doing, um, I'm definitely going to continue to collect because... <laughs> if y'all know, y'all already know. I mean, these brands, they just come. They just come with it. Boom, bam, bam. You can't keep up. And, you know, the fragrance addict in me is like, yes, I want this one. I want to try this one. I want to try this one. Yes. So the answer is I absolutely will continue collecting. Last but not least question is, where do you see your collection in 20 years? Well, in 20 years, I see my collection absolutely a lot less than it is right now because I think you know people change their interests uh, are gonna change you know in 20 years I'll be retired for sure so <laughs> I may not have any discretionary income to buy fragrances not at the price of these groceries out, <laughs> out here right now so yeah in 20 years if I am blessed to see another 20 years my fragrance collection is definitely gonna be a little bit more tailored a little bit smaller probably I want to say 50 fragrances tops. I don't see me having more than that in 20 years. Yes. Okay, y'all, so that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, oh my gosh, it feels so good to be back, to be talking to you guys out there, you know, all my fragrance friends. Thank you again for checking up on me. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, and now is the time, I will link the fragrances I spoke about in this video in the description box, and I will also link Carmen's channel. I also want to link um, Alali's channel because I can tell you she's the person that reached out the most and, you know, was texting me to make sure I was okay and making sure that I was taking care of myself when I said I had to take a little break. So, again, this community is a true community and I appreciate it. And like I always say, we can be anything in this world we want to be with hard work, dedication, and some perseverance. But in the meantime, while we're getting there, even if we're already there, smell like good people. Smell fabulous at all times. See y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.